There's lots to be said about sitting down and doing, performing a loving-kindness meditation. And while that's necessary to sit down in peace inside oneself in silence, I would like to offer you an actionable alternative, a challenge. You see, it's easy to sit down and dwell inside loving-kindness, or is it? I encourage you to do so if you are unfamiliar with the feeling. But what's far harder, what will challenge your heart, is to go out into real life and with each and every person you see, each and every person you meet, each and every person you can join with energetically. It's as simple as giving your attention to literally anyone that you may see. You could be walking right up the street. When you look at somebody, you feel, you give that energy, that feeling of loving kindness to them. How you doing, man? We're all in this together. Stay strong. See how easy it is? Everyone you meet is a chance, an opportunity for you to get over whatever thoughts might come up, whatever judgments might come up, whatever barriers come up. And if you're still uncomfortable with intimacy, and you might experience difficulty with this, uncomfortable being vulnerable. If you think kindness is sort of embarrassing or silly, if you've always been a little uncomfortable being kind, being kind to people, you don't know the power. You don't know how it is. You need to sit down and feel that kindness for yourself. But let me offer you this challenge. Instead of just sitting there, why don't you go out and give this to feel this with every person you meet. Especially, especially, those most in need are those who inspire your hatred. Those people you don't like or you think don't deserve your kindness. That, that energy of loving kindness. Those are the people you most need to give it to. For yourself and for them too. Those people who cut you off in traffic, you, you want them to feel your wrath. Those people that piss you off, make you angry. Those lovers, those partners standing in front of you, you just can't believe they would do or say something like that. Now you give them your space, your energy of forgiveness, compassion. But it's something you have to be able to give to yourself too. And that is where the real healing begins. Can you feel it for yourself and then can you give it to others? But what you will find in this challenge is that in giving it to others, you uniquely resurrect it for yourself. You find your true self, your true nature. It's what we give that we get. Not just from others, you see. It's what we get from ourselves. What we give out, what we give to ourselves. That's what we get back within. It's an internal journey, damn it. It's an internal battle, a fight. But it doesn't have to be a fight. You put down your swords and here's how you win. Love. Love is the answer. Kindness is the answer. You feel a powerful gravity of love within. And you generate that kindness for yourself and then love everyone else. That is your challenge.